So I'm here at uh, Rosie's Dog Beach. I'm just gonna say this, the reason that I am doing this video about these trucks is because if you remember that day, hopefully you saw the video, if not, go watch it. Uh, Bev up and me were skating at U U U uh, UCLA. You, um, you had, you, 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 you. After he did this crazy ride on grinds, he did this. so bad. What kind of trucks are those? Only the best, like... Are those Ace? These are Tensor Mag Lights. Dude, they Magnesium. grind anything? They grind anything, no wax. That was crazy, he just grinded this. I'll do another grind. What? Let's see how far it can go. What? Which to my astonishment didn't seem possible, cause like, I'm kind of good at grinding crusty things or grinding things that look like they shouldn't be grinded. So then I tried it with the trucks. That's insane. It's like butter. Why is that? That's what? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, try your board now. Are they for sale? Do they sell these? Yeah, they sell them. Do they come in? Do they come in eight seven five? Um, they're making them right now. Um, skating a size nine one. They just started making size nine trucks. Yeah. They just grind on whatever. Yeah, pretty much. I just try to grind whatever. I... Well, you were grinding the unwaxed curbs earlier, and I was like, oh, he's probably just powering through it. But this is brick. Yeah. Like old from probably the nineties brick, and you just fifty fifty like three feet of it. And the mine didn't. I'm good at grinding shitty shit. I know. I, I you do like the gnarliest grinds through shit. But this physically wouldn't work unless you had a product like this and they're so light well god damn it i might just make a video about these damn trucks <laughs> Shit. i mean this ride on grind stuff's cool but they, that that was the craziest thing i've ever seen and yeah wouldn't go and i very much so try to light foot it now i have a technique for grinding stuff that's like really crusty and looks like it shouldn't grind and like let's say i'm doing a front side 50 50 uh, i kind of lean toe side real hard and sort of not two wheel manual it, but like my truck is barely grazing on the ledge and you can get away with this technique for Smith grinds and five O's and a lot of different tricks. You just really lean up on your toes or if you're doing backside, you really lean on your heels, let you get away with it. But I noticed when he 50 50 the ledge, he put all of his weight into it. So when I 50 50 the ledge on his trucks, I also put all my weight into it. I'm going to take off my indie mids. It's funny because I just made a video about uh, how I've been riding 875 trucks. Normally I ride a size bigger than my board because my board's 875. Well, he just gave me some of these. They feel, they're so crazy light. Uh, these are the, what are they called? The mag, they're, they're tensor trucks made out of magnesium. I think they're called like mag super lights or something like that. I got really, uh, into the idea of these trucks. So I did a little bit of research and by that I meant, I went to Ben DeGrasse to see if he made a video on it and he did. And, uh, he said a lot of things that I would expect to agree upon involving like weight and how a truck can possibly be too light because you want to feel the weight of your board. But then I also like the idea that they grind super well and you can just grind anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how I feel about it myself because I'm a firm believer in whatever you want to skate, you can get used to. I had a learning curve with deck rails. I had a learning curve with moving up board sizes and hopefully with these, it shouldn't be any different because I want to be able to grind super far. I will also explain why they grind so much better and and uh, yeah, sort of a unbiased review because these were free, but the, spot, the company didn't give them to me. Bev did. About to stand on the board for the first time, just FYI, I am super sensitive to like the way trucks turn. Uh, I don't know if you know this about me, but I definitely like my trucks like I like my women. Uh, independent. Uh, I've been riding independent for quite some time. Sometimes I will veer off and mess around a little bit with thunder, but I should probably keep my skate tool on me because there's no way that these are gonna be loose enough. Okay. Maybe a little bit more of a divide. Like with independence, you can actually pump flat ground so they're sharp enough turning. Yeah, definitely don't turn as good as independence. That's not necessarily a bad thing. The wider truck, definitely noticing that. Like I can like feel it under me, just be a little wider. It's nice to look down at and see my wheel peeking out though. Maybe my front crooks would be way more on point. You really notice them being lighter during a man. That's for sure. One thing that Ben said is he said when he tried these trucks, I watched another review, so you know Nathan. Uh, is he said felt that these trucks might make them rocket as flips a little more because they're lighter, so it's gonna take a second to get used to the weight in it, like going against your foot. So I would hate to spend, you know, 10 years learning how to not rock on my kickflip all of a sudden the rocket again. This would be literally the first try of a kickflip. Hopefully it's not bad. Also, I've been taking naps all day. Oh! A little. 
really feels like it sucks up to my feet a little quicker. This is just tripping me out though, the lightness. Yeah. Is there an adjustment for your flip tricks? A little, but I got used to it really quickly. All right, there we go. That was a good one. I'm starting to get there. Should I do a grind? Yeah. I'm nervous. Because <laughs> I like, the one thing that I saw, uh, obviously after watching Grind That Brickle Edge, but on the review with Ben too, I saw he was just like, yeah, they grind incredible. And it's like the virgin scratch on it, like no grind marks. And I'm like, oh yeah. What if, what if I fall on the first grind? <laughs> yeah. I always this skate that one. Is, this is like a really dry one. And that one's all buttered up. That makes me want to skate this one. Cause oh yeah, because it's more chunky and more unwaxed. It's, it's supposed to not grind. Yeah. So with these trucks, hopefully it'll grind first, yeah, I don't know. I was like so delicate with it because I thought it wasn't going to go. Wow. It feels smoother of a grind. Like you can really feel like the friction when you grind with independence. With these, I feel like it's more like glidey. Ooh. It feels crazy. I will say I'm a little nervous grinding these nine inch trucks. Cause like, uh, as you know, trucks this wide, you can grind both sides of them, huh? Yeah, at the Santa Monica ones, they fit perfectly. I described this as rails on your trucks, pretty much. Yeah. It's like a little softer material of a truck, as yeah. you can tell. So that's that's the that's the way it works. Kind of going in the other direction, Steve came out with a truck that's made of titanium, and my buddy Yoshi rode for him. And our local skate park, Laurel Skate Park, was one of the earliest Fawn Ranches, and they would use that like galvanized aluminum for coping. And since his trucks that were made of titanium were harder than that coping, it wouldn't grind. He could not grind the galvanized aluminum. In fact, whenever he would grind any metal edge, it was way stickier than it was for normal trucks. But when he got it grinded concrete, the wax and the smoothness of the friction of the concrete, he could grind further. So this kind of goes the other direction where the trucks are soft. So if the metal of this is softer than the metal of the coping or the concrete of the ledge, it's gonna be less friction. You're gonna grind a lot smoother. So the give and take is, these will probably grind down faster than a regular truck, but it's still gonna last you long enough. You know what I mean? So how long do these trucks you normally get? Um, Usually like this time I realized I could grind bricks and stuff. So I just been going in like, as you can tell, <laughs> you know, like- I can see like, look at this grind box. They're like, it's like almost like straight across, like you're grinding everything. Like yeah. usually you'll have like really defined grooves, but you can tell that you've just been like using as much of your trucks as possible. Yeah. Also you have this really deep groove in the middle, which I have no idea how you even got that. What were you, what is this? This is very much just raw, dusty, sandy curb. If I stick and fall on you though, these trucks suck. <laughs> that is crazy. Cause when I roll up to the curb, there's so much fear in my heart. Cause I'm like, there's no way you're not sticking. Yeah. So you just don't stick. What about this lead? This is probably too shitty to grind, right? No, you could grind that for sure. You heard this? I, I could at least. You gotta put a little more effort into you're it. Like, you're like, I could. I mean, I'm like an expert. <laughs> All right, no wax. Wow. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's like, look at the grind marks. Like, it looks like someone just took one rub brick swipe and just went, shh. It does, right? Dude, these things are insane. So if I can get used to the way these trucks turn and get used to flipping my board like this, this is gonna be my next, this is gonna be what I skate. You just need to cha like change your bushings or get used to bushings. You just need to break them in. Did you switch out bushings? Um, I did before, but on these ones, I just kept them just stock start. and just like got used to the- Let's uh, just float around and do a couple of flip tricks and yeah. see uh, how hard it's easy. was talking about how much you like tray flipping the board because it's like definitely goes in the air. Still going. Oh yeah. 
There he is. Me switching to the Indy hollows, the mids, was an adjustment in weight. But once I got used to it, I fell in love with them. They're my favorite trucks ever. So now going further in that direction, the lightest trucks on the market, literally, uh, I'm excited to like kind of get used to them to see like how much I really like them. Because right now, I'm just sold on how well they grind. Like they'll grind anything. You know I like doing really long grinds. And the idea of like, there's definitely been spots, specifically one in particular, that I try to do a very particular long grind on. And I can't make it to the end because the friction just keeps adding up and I end up sticking halfway through, actually two thirds through. So I think these trucks might help with that, especially since they're wider. And once you see the spot, hopefully my video part drops, it'll, it'll make sense. But um, yeah, man, I'm pretty stoked on them so far. The turning isn't as bad as I expected. I thought it was gonna be like way harder to get used to the turn. How about you give us a demo? I'm gonna film you using slappies. Yeah, for sure. Let me grab my regular board. Yeah. He just grinds forever. For the trucks, I'd fucking got stuck for sure. You'd probably be pregnant by now if it wasn't for those trucks, dude. Yeah. Really putting those trucks to work with those deck rails. <laughs> that guy just thought that we stole a skateboard, but he, he like has a longboard. Like, can you imagine thinking you, your longboard got stolen and then you see someone do a board side, board side, pressure heel flip and think, yeah, that's probably my longboard. Yes, sir. Grind into it? Grind and then board slide or something? How are you going to do it? What do you... in, oh, if... You okay. Oh, my God. So, yeah, just, just grind through this real quick. Yeah. That was good. That board just disappeared. Oh. Yes, sir. Finesse. Dude, you're going to town on this curve. This curve didn't stand a chance. Through the sand. Dude. <laughs> Did you set this up or was it like that? It was like that. Oh, you didn't even touch it. It was just already ready to go. It was perfect. Whoever set this up, shout out to them. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I like lifted up and barely went over. I cannot believe that did not rip your deck rails out. He just like slapped it like, but it's like off the ground. This looks pretty crazy. Like yeah, you're like 50 fitting the side of it, side of it. it. Feels so good to grind the side. It's like way more smooth. Yeah. I don't feel like setting up my ring light, so this is gonna be not the greatest quality. But uh, I would just want to say that I'm gonna continue to skate these trucks to actually get like a full feel for how I actually feel about them, because like right out the gate, me getting used to everything. Not really the best judge. Uh, I've been skating them for four days now. This is obviously filmed in the future. I'm pretty far ahead in videos. Uh, but I, I'm totally loving them. I'm really into them. But that could be placebo effect. That could just be me really excited about, you know, doing longer grinds and stuff like that. And I really want to see, I mean, how are they going to end up turning? Are they going to end up having any weird corks? Am I going to end up breaking them randomly? Uh, I don't know. So I will keep you updated as more and more videos come out. The next, I can guarantee the next four videos that come out, I will still be skating these trucks. Uh, and we'll see how it goes from there. 